Hey y'all, I wanted to talk about being a lesbian and being Christian, being gay and being Christian, being bisexual and being Christian. Yes, you can be all those things and be Christian. You can love God with all your heart and be gay, be a part of the GLBT community. I think that there comes a time where you have to accept yourself. You know, all that praying the gay away, it does not work. It doesn't. You know, you may feel like, okay, I'm healed from homosexuality. I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. But then the next day, you see somebody of the same gender, same sex, and you're like, dang. Wow. You know what I'm saying? For the longest time, I did try to pray the gay away. I did. You know, I called one of my friends, and um, I was like, I'm, I'm having these homosexual feelings. Can you please pray this away? And, hey, look at me now. I am ecstatic that I have finally accepted myself. I finally decided to love myself. I finally decided that I was not going to let the opinion of others change the opinion of myself. You know, when I was married, I tried my best to be that godly wife that I felt like God was calling me to be. Ugh. I do not regret getting married because I have a son, you know, who I love very much. At the same time, I'm glad, I'm very thankful that I'm happy where I'm at. I'm very thankful that I can finally be me without people bullying me, without people making me feel like I'm supposed to live in, in a certain way, a certain manner. You know, it, that's just horrible to live that way. It's horrible to live a double life where you look in, you know what I'm saying? When women or for some men are in church and they're just looking like at, at the same sex, like, dang, like, oh, look at that person. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, I used to look at women like in church. I was ugh, I'm so... Ew, that's, I know that's bad, but I just couldn't help myself. Like, you know, a nice, fine woman comes up, and you're like, dang, look at her booty, like her booty. Oh, God. Anyway, that was like the point. But, you know, you have to come to terms with your lesbianism or gayism, and you have to just accept it. And I learned that just because you know something does not mean that you have accepted it yet. You know, it's really hard for a lot of people, even now, 2014, to come out. Even though it does seem like it's the norm now for people to come out, it doesn't mean that a lot of people are struggling. It doesn't mean that a lot of people are not, you know, having those issues. You know, it's a hard world out there for a lot of people. A lot of people suffer because of who they are. And they feel like they have to just stay in the closet. I'm here to tell you that you can love God and you can be gay, trans. You know, just embrace it. Embrace your homosexuality and just love yourself. Because if you don't love yourself, I mean, of course, God's going to love you anyway. But no person on earth is going to be able to love you. If you don't love yourself and you have to look yourself in the mirror and really just embrace it for the longest time I didn't I just did not embrace nothing I, I was like whoa no 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 and it took me some years even after I came out to love myself to embrace myself to you know what I'm saying? Because I still struggle with that. When you are taught for so long that you're going to go to hell, that is something, that's that's crazy. It took me two years to come out after my divorce. Two. And, you know, you have to find yourself. Who am I? But at the same time, once you find yourself, you can't let you being a lesbian or gay dictate everything. You know what I'm saying? There's just some, it's like a piece of part of your identity. Anyway, I wanted to touch on this topic. All right. Bye.